is Krishna himself. But he has put Krishna Varna, the black, inside and outside of Krishna Varna. Do you understand? Hello. Tapta Kanchana Gauranga. It's Radha's. Srimati Radharani's complexion. Radha half, assuming Radha half, sentiments of Radharani, and complexion of Radharani. He came. Do you understand? Hello. Isn't it? So he is known as Gaura Sundar or Gaura Govind. You understand? That means in Krishna Lila you find in tenth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, when gopis hear a nice singing and flute of Krishna, at midnight Krishna plays that flute in the jungle. Vrindhava. Gopis at midnight, leaving their husband, their family, their children, everything they used to run there at midnight. Do you understand? <laughs> to Krishna. Do you understand? This is that pure love classy. Mm. Nice horses are there in the tenth canto of Simhapala. You find it, I am not going to tell you all these things. Many ladies are there, they will feel embarrassed. I am not going to tell that. <laughs> it will be nice. Someday I may speak. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and summary I am going to tell you because I am going to deny. <laughs> so, Krishna said, Oh, gopis, your love. It's so pure, so intense for me that you give up your husbands, your family members, children, home, everything, and came running to me this midnight. I am very much indebted to you. Indebted to you for your pure love. I have no wealth to repay this love. I have no wealth at all. Though he is then nobody is such wealthy as Krishna. Uh -huh. But he said, I have no wealth to repay this debt. I am very much indebted. He became indebted. Do you understand? It's Krishna. Syam Sundar. So he thought of how to repay. So he became Gaura Sundar to repay the debt of the gopis. So Gopi Bhav, assuming the sentiment of Gopis and Radharani, he came. And as Gopis and Radharani were crying for Krishna, he was crying. You understand? He was crying. Ko Nanda Kula Chandrama, Ko Mandra Murali Rava. You understand? As Gopis, as Radharani was crying, feeling the pangs of separation from Krishna. Seeing his her dear girl companions, Sakhi, Lalita Sakhi and Visaka Sakhi, Radhani was saying, Who is the son of Nanda Maharaj? Who is that Krishna who plays so nicely with his floor, Mandra Murali Rama? Who can help me to meet him? Swami and Rai Ramananda, they were Lalita Sakhi and Bishaka Sakhi in Krishna Lira. Do you understand? And Mahaprabhu is crying, saying the same thing. Who is Krishna? Who is the son of Nanda Mahara? Who is that Krishna plays so straightly the float like this? That means he's repaying the debt. Do you understand? And in Krishna Lira, therefore, we say, it is not complete. It's incomplete. It's like unripe mango, green mango. The green mango is unripe. When it becomes ripened, it becomes yellow. Very sweet, tasty. Do you understand? The color changes. So 
Shyam Sundar means is bluish and ripe mango. Because the mellow is not ripened. <laughs> mellow is not ripened. When that Krishna came as Gaura Sundara, is ripened. Hello. Mellow is all ripened. So this is complete. Gaura Rila is complete and very tasty. Very nectarian. It's complete ripe. And Shyam Sundara is unripe. Therefore, say, if there may be Shyam Sundara, Radha Govind, there is no Gaura Sundar, Gaura Govind, I won't go there. Because Melo is unripe. I don't want unripe Melo, I want ripe Melo. Do you understand? So you see, in all Vaishnava, those who are followers of Srimad Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, in all Vaishnava temples you will see there must be this Gaura Sundar. Must be there. Along with Radha Samsung, along with it, not without it. That is our voice of philosophy. Do you understand? Yes. Yes? As you said that uh, in the spiritual world, the, uh, the gopis chant Hare Krishna and they mean Hari. Oh, Hari. Oh, Lord Hari. So, how is it if they're serving Krishna under the guidance of Srimati Radharani? How, how can they be so ungrateful as to forget Radharani and only remember Krishna? No, this is Sanskrit. But they're not scholars. No. The Gopis aren't scholars. No. How, how is it that they can actually forget Radharani, reject Radharani? You, you see, I tell you, these two words, Hara and Hari. Hara means Radharani. Do you understand? Hari means Radhari. And in address, Hara is Hare, Hari is also Hare. Do you understand? But we conditioned souls, we must approach Lord through His internal energy, through Radharani. Otherwise, we cannot approach Krishna. So the gopis don't have to? Huh? The gopis don't have to? What do you say? The gopis do not have to, you're saying? Gopis directly, are not conditioned souls. They can directly approach Krishna. Yeah, right? they can directly approach. Between Krishna and Radharani, they can go. Yeah, they can directly approach. Because they are internal potencies, but we are conditioned souls. We cannot approach directly. Therefore, we must ah, pray the mercy of Radharani. Do you understand? If we get the mercy of Radharani, then we can approach Krishna, otherwise not. Radha Krishna. Govinda Saravasva. In Radha Tattva you will find all these things. Govinda Saravasva. Which Shastra is that? Right? Yes, written Goswami Shastra. Written by Goswamis. You will never find anywhere. It's very confidential purpose. Radha Tattva is never discussed in publicly. No, there, nobody can understand it. In Srimad Bhagavatam, never find the name of Radha. Never find it. Anaha. The only Sukhita Goswami said, Anaya Radhita Yitu Radha. One who does very extraordinary worship, Radhita worship, is Radha. Only he speaks this much, nothing more.